Bernard. Pleased to meet you. Pleased Good to meet you. Today. Thank you very much indeed for uh, getting an opportunity to have a quick chat with us here. Is it, is it only Thornbury that you operate in? Or, we or, have, this is the big exhibition. This is the big run, one for you. exhibition we run every year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but also, of course, we, we run a railway in Ashton Court. Ah, is, right. Okay, that's so a miniature railway, miniature is it? Railway, yeah, that's right. yeah, that's yeah. It's all part of what we do in Ashton Court. So okay, fantastic. That's another big outlet for our, our hobby and our members for the, to run their locomotives. Yeah, superb, superb. So a lot of the locomotives you see on this stand run up Ashton Court as well. Well, there's an awful lot of stuff here, and, it, and it's all very shiny, and I know very little about locomotives. So it would be fantastic if you could give me just a, a quick bit of a guided tour of some of the equipment that you've yeah. got here. Okay. Well, this particular display on these two tables behind us uh, is a collection of locomotives that we brought together that have represented us in, in a competition that's run every year. Okay. Uh, it's run around the country, goes to different venues every year. Um, it uh, looks at the, how well a locomotive performs, how efficient it is, and it's a good bit of fun. Oh, right, okay. Uh, and it brings in representatives from lots of different clubs and societies similar to ourselves. And this year was the 50th anniversary of the first competition. Fantastic. So what we've so done how, how far can they go on how little fuel that's is, is basically that what, it what is. you're trying to do? Exactly, yes. So how, how far do they go on, well, on how much Well, it's more to do fuel? with efficiency, yeah, 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 uh, which yeah, is yeah. a very, very low number on, <laughs> on a steam locomotive. But it, what you're really trying to do yeah. is to pull a, a live load of passengers okay. and use the minimum amount of coal in doing that, or the minimum amount of fuel in, right, in, in right. running the locomotive. Yeah. So that's yeah. what it's all about. Fantastic. Some of it's down to the how well the locomotive is made, some of it's down to the skill of the driver. Okay, brilliant. How much, brilliant. How much he shovels through the, through, through the door <laughs> into the firebox. So all these locomotives on this, this display behind us have represented us in that competition over the last 50 years. Excellent. And this is international or just inside England? It's basically national. It's national, it okay. It covers yeah, England, yeah, Ireland, yeah. Scotland, well, yeah. the whole of the British Isles, yeah. really. We have had one or two that have come from somebody came from South Africa one year. Excellent. These are all hand built. Uh, yes. Hand built. So they're, they're not kits that you put together. Not kits they're, at they're, all. They're, they're, this they're, is start from scratch. Start from scratch in your garage. With a proper drawing engineering. And a piece of metal. Yeah. Fantastic. All oh, right. So you have drawings for these things. There then. are drawings. There are drawings. So drawings. someone's designed them. And yes. yeah. You can okay. Buy yeah. some of the yeah. essential castings that you need, which are rather specialised. Okay. You can buy those, but yeah. you still have to machine them. Yeah. You still have to like a wheel, for instance, which yeah. is quite a complicated thing to try and make yes but yeah of course it's a casting yeah an iron casting but we yeah. have to machine it to make it accurate and true and so it, it, yeah. it, it does what kind of tolerances are we talking about for for some of these things well we're talking i mean we're all brought, brought up in the age of inches so we're yeah, talking okay, about, on, then. about thousandths of an inch which so is about two and a half microns isn't it about yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah, like yeah 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 so yeah. that's the sort of it, it, yeah. the sort of tolerances and accuracy yeah. we have to work to to make these things fantastic function. fantastic so okay we're standing here in front of an lms a black locomotive it's a a Royal Scott, is it? Okay. One of the Royal Scott class of locomotives of the LMS. Um, this particular one is called uh, Royal Scott's Fusilier. Yep. Number 6103. Um, and it, it, it was one of a class of, well, I don't know how many there were, probably 30 or 40 of them that ran on the London Midland Scottish Railway. So, yeah, London, London um, Midland Scotland uh, a Scots Fusilier locomotive. As I mentioned to you earlier, actually, I found um, uh, a vintage um, uh, a lamp, uh, a paraffin lamp, yeah. that gives you the ability to be able to change between red and green and uh, a, a, guard a guard's you. lamp. Yes, exactly, yeah. Yes. It's quite special to me, actually. I've, I've, in fact, I made a little video about it, and quite a lot of people uh, saw that and, and thought, yeah, that's uh, quite quite a nice little lamp. So, uh, just give us a quick talk through then. This is a big boiler. That's the boiler, so yeah, that's okay. It's like an enormous yep. great kettle, if you yep. like, being, yep. being simplistic about yep. it. It's full of water. Yep. And there's up inside this part of the boiler, in the, in through here, there you can just see the the fire hole door there. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, where, yeah. That's where yeah. the fire is in there. So right. inside there. Yeah. Covering that sort of there, an area of a, what about ten, that's eight square inches or something like that. Yeah. More than that, yeah. perhaps. Yeah. Is where the fire is. Okay. So the heat from that fire then passes through tubes inside that boiler to the front, 
that comes the smoke comes out of the chimney. Right. And in doing so, it yep. imparts heat to the water inside to yep. boil it. To boil it and yep. reduce the steam. Okay, and the steam generates the pressure. That generates steam pressure. Yep. And then there's control valves and everything in here that enable us to be able to admit that steam into the cylinders, which are at the front. The cylinders are here. Yeah. Okay, right I see front. those. Yeah. Yeah. And that pushes the pistons backwards and forwards to actually make the wheels go round through these big connecting rods. Now you've got a complex array of pipes and whatnot yep. at the front here. Yep. What are all these for? That's for lubrication. This That's, is this okay, is a lubricator, right? right. Uh, which provides lubrication to the axle boxes, the wheels, yep. and also to the cylinders as well. Okay. Um, so this is rotate as the engine's going along. This slowly rotates around yep. and pumps oil into the key points in the locomotive to, to make keep sure it. that nothing seizes up That's yeah right. yeah Absolutely fantastic right. because obviously steam is very hot yes so yeah, it yeah. needs to be yeah. well lubricated to make sure that it, as you say it doesn't seize up yeah fantastic brilliant bernard thank you very help? much that's that absolutely okay? absolutely spot on thank you very much yeah.